Posture and pelvis positioning are critical factors in the overall golf swing. I always say that the pelvis is the number one epicenter for dysfunction, meaning that if we don't have a good competency of how to move that pelvis through a range of motion, it's gonna to be tough for us to swing our best swing. It's gonna to be tough to rotate efficiently and to help us really get that speed and that power that we're looking for. But more importantly, the consistency is not there. If the pelvis is not a good place, the consistency is not there. So our goal is to make sure that we can activate the movement of that pelvis, not only in the pelvic tilt, but in the pelvic rotation to help us be the most efficient when we're swinging the club. Here's some exercises and some tips that are gonna help you understand how to do that in the best way possible. I'm gonna show you some exercises that are gonna help you get the right positioning of your pelvis as well as the right movement. It's gonna be three quick moves that you can do and you can do them in your hotel room, you can do them before you leave the house and it will maintain itself by the time you get out there to swing the club. So we're gonna start on our back. In this position, I have my hips on the floor, I have my feet flat on the floor, my knees bent. I'm gonna put my hands here across my chest. I'm gonna create a big space between my lower back and the ground, and then I'm going to tuck, eliminating the space between my lower back and the ground. Again, big space, eliminate the space. If you notice, my pelvis is moving through a full range of motion. Open and close. That's activating the lower abdominals, preparing my pelvis to pull itself through a range of motion. The next move is going to be a quadruped position, meaning the bear crawl type position. I'm going to start with my hands right under my shoulders, my knees right under my hips, toes spiked into the ground. Now, unlike yoga with a cat and a dog, I'm starting my shoulders down and back and I'm going to keep them there. I only want to move the pelvis, not the back. So I'm gonna tuck under with the pelvis, tuck my belt buckle towards my chin, and then I'm going to tuck it back down towards the ground. Again, tuck towards the chin and back to the ground. You do not wanna go cat dog. Again, tuck the pelvis, moving independent from the rest of the body, and then extend. Finally, we're gonna put that into a golf posture that makes sense for us, and we're gonna use those pelvic techniques we just used from the floor and in the quadruped position to help us be efficient when we stand over the ball. So now, we're in our good golf posture. We wanna make sure that we come all the way out and then tuck all the way in. All the way out, all the way in. Try to avoid moving the knees back and forth. Try to avoid moving the chest up and down. Tuck in, out, in and out. Those three techniques and exercises are a progression from the ground up that are gonna help you understand how to move that pelvis more efficiently. A lot of people don't move as smooth through that range of motion. Do these exercises as an activation and you'll be able to move that pelvis better every day and play your best golf.